here I've got some of the old uh, baler twine from around the um, big bales. It's good hefty uh, baler twine. I'm just going to use that to tie, start tying these gates together. troughs in there and put the, lock them off with the gateway. So there we are, we've got a bunch of calves in here now. Um, there's 12 calves in here which is quite a lot actually. Um, I'm just pouring the water into the trough for them at the moment and there's the feeders. My brother's going to bring the load around and we're going to put a round bell in that ring feeder for them. Isn't it? Uh, it's not ideal, it's better than nothing but um, it's uh, you know a temporary measure. I'm a bit concerned some of them are a little bit small for around here for those, those troughs. So I hope they can reach the cake, but as the muck builds up, I'm sure they will. But what we do is I'll keep an eye on these and um, anything that looks like it doesn't like it around here and wants to go back for a little bit more TLC in the other sheds, I'll uh, I'll pull them out after a week. Um, just to you know you've got to look after your young calves, but they're, they're past the danger zone where they get scour and stuff at this age, which is always a problem. Um, they always look a bit scraggly. Best looking calves always look good at about three weeks old, straight off the mum actually. When you get to this age, they always look a bit scrawny and leggy. Um, some of them done better than others. But Tom's going to bring a, a rain bale barley straw in with there. And, um, and then I'm going to maybe get a bag of cake for them just to settle them in. I'm waiting for this water trough to fill up.
sure they'll do alright on barley straw as long as you give them a bit of cake and protein. Nice quality straw. Now, Tom's just put a couple of barley uh, bales against the uh, gates to stop them pushing it over. And I bought a bit of cake round for them. I'll just climb over there and uh, put that in the troughs. Up. There you go, they're quite happy tucking into that wheat straw actually. Um, so they haven't really twigged about the cake yet, but I'm sure they will in a bit. Anyway, that's our temporary calf pen done. And uh, all the trouble we've got to go to because we've got TB on the farm, eh? Anyway, fingers crossed for our two clear tests.